meta, metacognition. Me meta. Is that the company that used to be Facebook? What the heck does metacognition even mean? <laughs> no. Metacognition has nothing to do with Mark Zuckerberg or what used to be known as Facebook. Metacognition literally translates to thinking about thinking. So it's when your brain is just kind of doing its own thing and then all of a sudden you stop and you realize, hey, why was I thinking that? Or whenever you stop and think about what or how you're thinking and how you're feeling and whether or not you like those thoughts that you're having and then you decide to like keep your thought going down that path or you choose something different. So that's for different forms of metacognition. I will um, put a video in the description that I think is a really, really great example of someone who uses metacognition. Um, and in this particular video, they use metacognition in a really good way. I don't know that this video is necessarily for all audiences because they talk about giving up drinking for a year, but I do think that as he's going through the video, he's talking about um, how he felt in the moment and whenever he was like having cravings um, and whether or not he wanted to make new choices or different choices. And those are all types of metacognition, right? Like they're um, there are times when he's thinking about what he's thinking and what he's feeling and what his brain is just naturally doing. And then he's using higher level thought to go, okay, is this what I want to continue doing? You may be saying that that's great and all, but I don't really know what's going on still because I haven't watched that video and I'm maybe the wrong audience for it. Okay, okay, you're right. Here's something that I wasn't going to use, but I guess I can go ahead and use for teaching purposes. Hi, I'm Sarah, and today is my 36th birthday. <laughs> oh wait, you're probably just watching this channel on a different day, because I'm just some rando who's posting on YouTube. I don't even know who you are. Surely you didn't watch this on the first day. My birthday. Uh, so I started this channel. Oh God. <laughs> I started this channel because I uh, sent my resume and cover letter to Mr. Beast and then realized I have no YouTube presence. And so there's no way that he's going to want mental health advice from somebody who literally has never been on YouTube. So yeah, he's uh, not going to call me back. Um, I decided to make a YouTube channel on my own because I feel like getting mental health advice from a therapist might be helpful, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just annoying. <sighs> hmm. Maybe I should talk to somebody. Okay, so I'm gonna be for real for real with y'all and I recorded this thing four times and I could not find any footage of me being like a therapist and talking about metacognition. So enjoy these clouds while we talk about it. <clears throat> so in that clip, I was really mean to myself, obviously. I mean, the things that I said weren't necessarily mean, um, just the editing was really pretty awful. However, then at the end, I talked about myself being annoying or questioning whether I was annoying. And stopping to think like that and question whether I'm okay with the way that I'm talking to myself and thinking about that is metacognition. I took it one step farther by thinking about what I could do and what I've done in the past um, to help myself feel better. That's not really obvious other than I said I know who I could talk to, um, but my next clip will go a little bit farther in that. I'm sorry that there's some repeating, but this is my first video and we're just gonna figure it out as we go. So our first challenge is the hashtag metacognition challenge. And what metacognition is, is when you notice 
first what you're doing, how you're feeling, and what, if anything, you would like to change. So in this scenario, it's like earlier whenever I said that I was feeling annoying or when I noticed that I was worrying. Um, I didn't explicitly say this, but whenever I worry too much or when I start saying mean things about myself, um, I start feeling bad. And so in the past, I've noticed that it helps to talk to someone. In this scenario, I decided to talk to me. Yeah, um, you might want to talk to a therapist, but since I am a therapist, it made sense. I've had lots of practice because not only have I studied therapy, I've also gone to therapy. So for this challenge, what we're going to do is we're going to have you find YouTube channels where you notice someone um, recognizing what they're doing and how they're feeling about it. And then if they want to change something about it. And then if you see somebody doing that, I want you to go down in their comments and write hashtag metacognition challenge and timestamp it. And then what are we going to do? Oh, we're doing this so that you can practice learning the skill so that whenever you need to use metacognition yourself, you can start practicing changing what's going on for you. So like in this scenario, I was able to talk myself down and not feel so annoying or not worry so much. <laughs> So I also forgot to record an outro for this because my video was supposed to go completely different. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you have a great time doing the hashtag metacognition challenge. Don't forget to check out the videos on hashtag not foreboding joy slash hashtag gratitude challenges. See you next time and have a great day y'all. Bye. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just get out of here, you stupid dumb animal. <laughs>